Welcome back friends. We are continuing with our studies of matter topic and today let's discuss about the kinetic theory of gases. Now in introduction, kinetic theory of gases uh, explain the behavior of gases with respect to the motion of its molecule. As we studied earlier that gases they are made up of molecules. Koko ni kinetic theory of gases tunaenda kuelezea different properties of gases tukiangalia behavior ya zile molecule. Jinsi gani hizo molecules zinaweza move na movement as molecules affect behavior of gases so it holds for ideal gases only and hence it is also known as assumption for ideal gas law um tunaenda kuona mbele ideal gas ni nini ideal gas ni nini kwa sababu kuna vitu vingi kwenye gases tuna discuss lakini actually they do not happen kwa hiyo they do not happen in real life tunazungumza kwamba gas at at zero kevin yani kwenye negative 273 degree centigrade gases they should have a zero dm cube volume but actually gas yaweza kafika hiyo hapo kwa sababu gani gases they liquefy before that temperature so if they liquefy it means they become liquids so gases themselves they can reach that temperature in gaseous state kondo maana nataka nikuambie kwamba in kinetic theory of gases we will we'll be talking more of ideal gases and later we shall be we shall be discussing about the ideal and real gases when we will we'll continue this state of matter now let's look on the assumptions of kinetic theory of gases first gas contain very small particles molecules which are in lambda motion in a straight line so these particles they in lambda motion in a straight line second pressure exerted by gas is due to collision between molecules themselves and the wall of the container pressure exerted by the gas is due to the collision between the molecules and the wall of the container so there are two types of collisions here the collisions between the molecules themselves means collision between molecule, one molecule and another and the collision between the molecules and the wall of the container third the collision between the gas molecule and the wall of the container is perfectly elastic this actually doesn't happen in real life because most of times the collision between the gas molecules and the wall of the container lead to the loss of some kind of energy and if the energy is lost means that is not perfect elastic collision in a perfect elastic collision means uh in a, in the whole collision there must be no loss of energy there must be no loss of energy at all so thus this doesn't occur actually in real life but this is the assumption assumption means we assume we assume and number four, the intermolecular force of attraction between the gas molecule are neglected are neglected uh number five, kinetic energy of the gas molecule varies directly proportional to the absolute temperature number six, the volume of the gas molecule is neglected compared to the volume of the container now among these six assumptions uh, you must be very careful with the assumption number 4 and assumption number 6 because later we shall be discussing about the real and ideal gases and the assumptions which uh, differentiate the real and ideal gases the assumption number 4 and assumption number 6 uh, in real and ideal gases the difference is that in real gases we are considering the intermolecular forces of attraction between the gas molecule and we are considering the volume of the gas molecules with respect to the volume of the container while in ideal gases we are neglecting the intermolecular force of attraction and we are neglecting the volume of the gas molecules so that's all about the assumption of the uh, assumption of the kinetic theory of gases now let's look about the derivation derivation of the kinetic equation from kinetic theory of gases or sometimes it is called fundamental equation uh, let's look about it see the elevation consider any molecule of gases in a cube are moving in three dimension direction such that n divided by three molecule are moving in each direction so now let's consider a cube here uh, let's say this is your cube this is your cube uh, this is your cube uh, now let's say this is length l this is length l this is width l and this is height l and now let's say we have a molecule here uh this molecule moves in that direction velocity y moves in that direction velocity x 
and moves in that direction velocity z three direction y x and z so now if we have total any molecules these are total total molecules uh total molecules are n so if the total molecules are n means the molecules moving in one direction it is n divided by 3 these are molecules moving in one direction in one direction so now what are we saying about this molecule when we want to derive the uh, kinetic equation of gases now consider n divided by 3 molecules which are moving in the x direction now let m uh, let m be mass be the mass of the particle mass of the particle and let m be the mass of the particle and c be the uh, velocity or root mean square speed uh, c ni velocity au inaitwa root mean square speed root mean square speed be the root mean square tena kuona kwa mbele root mean square speed of the gas molecule so now momentum of the particle momentum momentum before collision with the wall of the container will be equal to mc that's momentum because momentum is equal to mass times velocity this root mean square speed in sana kusema velocity and the momentum after collision momentum after collision because after collision particle inakuwa inarudi manake kama iki gonga pa wall after collision particle inakuwa inarudi so kama velocity yake kwenda hivi kwa c manake velocity ya kurudi itakuwa ni negative c so momentum after collision itakuwa ni negative mc that's momentum after collision now change in momentum change in momentum change in momentum that is change in p itakuwa sun uh, momentum tunaiandika kwa rufi p so this is momentum before collision momentum after collision change in black change in p itakuwa sun uh, change in p manake itakuwa sana momentum before collision then you come as momentum after collision so utakaje kuja kupata ni sana 2 mc that is a uh, change in momentum ah uh, ili tuweze kupata force according to newton's second law force ni sana rate of change of momentum force itakuwa sana rate of change of momentum according to newton's second law of motion so from newton's second law of motion newton's second law of motion of motion newton's second law of motion uh uh tunasema kwamba force is equal to change in p divided by t our force in sana rate of change of momentum of momentum so force will be equal to change in p in sana 2 mc divided by time so hii tunaweza kaita equation 1 tunaweza kaita equation 1 now tunarudi tuna tuna tunaichukua hii root mean square speed uh from root mean square speed root mean square uh, speed root mean square speed c ile pale maana hiyo ilikuwa ni sana velocity velocity ilikuwa sana nini maana hapo tunaangalia particle ilikuwa inaenda hivi na inarudi kwa kutumia time flani so tunachukua hii total distance kwenda na kuri inakuwa ni 2l total distance in t so root mean square speed itakuwa sana kwanza hapo kwenye force particles ambazo zina zinanani hapa particles ambazo zina zina fanya collision hapo hii tumechukulia kwenye n divided by 3 particles kwenye force n divided by 3 particles so hii force ile tafuta ni kwa n divided by 3 particles tukitaka uh, force ya particles zote maana hapo inabidi tu to multiply total force exerted on the wall of the container by n divided by 3 particles tuna times hapo itakuwa force ni sana 2 mc uh, divided by t times n divided by 3 so force kwa sababu hii force yoka kwetu ilikuwa ni ya 1 particle yenye mass m na root mean square speed c so force will be equal to 2 n mc divided by 3 t 
hii ndio itakayosa tuite equation 1. Kwao tumeshapata force inayokuwa exerted by n divided by 3 molecules ambazo zina move kwenye one direction. Lakini pia root mean square speed ni sana 2l divided by time. So making the subject time will be equal to 2l divided by c. Hii hapa naenda let's call it equation 2 substitute a uh, substitute Uh, substitute equation 2 into equation 1 kwa unaweza kuona kwamba uh, tuipata force ni sana 2 nmc divided by 3 t kwa tukiingiza hapo itakuwa f ni sana 2 nmc 3 2l divided by c force ni sana maana ke hii tu na tuita isha tabakia n m c e c itapanda juu itakuwa times c divided by 3 l so force is equal to n m c square divided by 3 l call this equation 3 lakini like tunasema kwamba but pressure inakuwa sana a uh, pressure ni sana force divided by area a uh, force maana yake itakuwa sana pressure times area but also 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 area is equal to r square manake tupate area ni r square lo ni ni nani ya kule ile dimension so f will itakuwa sana na pressure l square e kama tukiita equation 4 tuna equate equate a uh, equation 3 and equation 4 tukoje kupata ni n utakuja kupata ni p l square ni sana n m c square divided by 3 l kwa hii hii tuweza tukaiongeza huko hii l tukaweka kuikaa ni p l cubic ni sana n m c square divided by 3 ah uh, kutokea hapo sasa kutokea hapo kutokea hapo tunachoweza kusema ni kwamba hii l cubic ni sawa sana volume v so pv is equal to n m c squared divided by 3 kwa hiyo tukishafika hapo hiyo ndio inakuwa our last equation pv is equal to n m c squared divided by 3 that is what is called the fundamental equation or the kinetic equation of gases. Na hii equation inatumika katika ku deduce different gas laws, different gas laws. Kwa hiyo na share hapa kipindi hichi, subscribe channel, share the video kwa wenzako ili muweze kusoma zaidi. Ah vipindi hivi ni free kabisa. Ni kusubscribe tu na kushare ndio jambo la muhimu. Subscribe, share to your fellows. Kipindi kijacho tutaangalia hiyo deduction of gas laws from fundamental equation of cases don't forget to click the link below to join my telegram group pia is not ziko kule telegram group thank you everybody nice studies